Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Today we're off to do an olive pruning course with our dear friend Roberto, who has um, discovered a new, more scientific method of pruning, and he's going to share it with a group of us, yeah. which is really nice. So, all locals. All locals, yes. So, um, our oil, which is already, we are well aware, the best, is going to be even better. And this system is called. Uh, uh, vaso policonico. In English would come more or less like a polyconic vase. So basically you want your tree to look like a cone? Yes. Um, With a hole in the middle. <laughs> yes, but it's not only an upside um, down cone, it's also the sides, the little cones that develop the, um, the side of the vase. Our trees uh, are a bit different from your trees because we live on a hill and uh, uh, the slopes are pretty steep. So we need to um, make sure that the tree is not inbounds towards the valley. We should point out though that actually you don't have to um, prune an olive tree at all because they're really not a tree but a shrub, which is quite surprising. Yes, and they can look after themselves perfectly well. So we actually prune them for our own convenience to make harvesting easier. Yes. And it probably does increase the production. An unpruned tree produces a very large crown and uh, all the fruits, uh, they go to grow on the top of this crown. So it makes quite uh, inconvenient and time consuming to harvest all the olives. And, and I think the idea is that we all climb into our trees at the moment to prune them. <laughs> and the idea is that eventually you can use modern tools and actually do it from the ground without risking life and limb. <laughs> so the idea of this pruning show is, uh, if I understand it, is to produce a pump system to get the sap to the top of the tree. Exactly. So you have to control the, the sap anyway. And the sap goes straight to the top. So when you prune the tree, you want to leave some of the little uh, uh, sprouts, at least one, going straight up, so they can draw the sap from the bottom. Because the sap goes first to the top, and then is, for some reason, I don't know, because I'm not a biologist, uh, it's kind of uh, um, going to spread around the tree anyway. And because uh, it sort of acts as a pump, and what Roberto um, says is that you, uh, it's like a pencil. You need to make the sort of shape of a pencil so you know which branch to cut yes which so is the main one that is doing the main pumping yes and it, one thing we forgot to say is that the tree yeah. the olive tree craves for sunlight first. so you need to open it up to to, to allow, allow light, light into in, the tree into the tree so there. you need to lighten it yes and also in that way you also increase the production the the thing is it's um it's it's harder than it looks so roberto gave us all a bit of individual tuition uh yes. <laughs> so that we could recognize it before we uh jumped into our trees yeah and also the way that and luckily he's in the next store olive grove so when we get stuck we can shout roberto across the fields and he comes and saves us he told us how to identify suckers um, so, and those, obviously the suckers don't produce olives and you don't want your sap being wasted on them. Pruning an olive tree is all about uh, carefully figuring it out uh, how the tree is going to develop uh, and produce olives anyway. Yeah, so you, you have to study your tree and yeah. um, the more you do it and look at your tree, the more it becomes obvious, like with pruning anything really. Sadly, this year we didn't make any olive oil, so our dear friend and neighbour came to the rescue and gave us some of hers to do this recipe. After spending time in, with Roberto in his olive grove to do um, an olive uh, pruning workshop. To hone our skills. Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Yes, we are going to cook something that is uh, related to olives. So we got to make uh, something Sicilian. We are cooking spaghetti with olives, tomatoes and breadcrumbs. 
or as they call it in Sicily, uh, mollica. Uh, we also need olive oil, garlic and uh, basil leaves. Uh, when we have uh, some leftover bread, we leave it at the bottom of the oven and uh, we use it when we need bread crumbs. And now we're going to toast the bread. What we do, just put a bit of olive oil in the frying pan, not too much, and we're going to put a good crush clove of garlic. Now you've left the skin on. Yes, I have the skin on, so it doesn't burn. <laughs> While the water is boiling, I'm going to remove my garlic now, and I'm going to add the bread crumbs. The bread crumbs, they absorb all the olive oil, and now they're getting brown. Bread crumbs are ready. And now I'm going to clean the pan to prepare the sauce. Now we're going to stone the olives. These olives come from an uh, olive grove. I do this job traditional way because uh, the, um, the, f the flesh is quite firm and the stone won't work very well. You can use the, the whole olive uh, itself and have to cut in small pieces like I'm doing now. We've got to use a dozen uh, cherry tomatoes and go to Cutting half. <coughs> Salt in the pasta water. The water is boiling and we've got to put the pasta in. Okay, the packets say lemons, but we've got to uh, undercook it a little bit because we want to finish it off with the uh, sauce we're preparing now. Uh, I covered the bottom of the pan with olive oil and uh, I got and I added a, um, a crushed clove of garlic and we go to lightly fry the garlic and then we add the tomatoes and the olives. The sauce is nearly ready, so I'm going to add a pinch of sweet sauce to season. And I'm going to add the bread crumbs now. The colors are so beautiful. Yes, but the aroma is fantastic. The olive oil, the olives, and the tomatoes there. I mean, it's such simple ingredients, but um, the better olive oil you have, the more wonderful the flavor is. And our olive oil is called the Gold of Luca. It's fantastic. Now the pasta is also ready. So I'm going to add the pasta. Thing about our oil here is it's very, um, non-acid. It's a very light oil, so it's very healthy. And now we go to add some fresh parsley leaves, get the best leaves on the plant. And the trick with basil isn't it to never cut them, but always break the leaves so you get the... The flavour, the scent. The aroma. The aroma. It's ready. You try first. Mm. Try the tomato with the basil and the olive. Delicious. Mm. I think this is what I love about Italian cooking. So few ingredients, so simple. It's so delicious. And so quick.
Thank you to those who've subscribed this week to our channel. Please do remember to keep subscribing. It's free. Just press that button, press the like and press the bell if you enjoy the videos. We enjoy being part of this community so much and thank you all for your support. The recipe is in the description box below.